do better. Two clubs with modest early season records look to finish August with a win. Eastbourne Borough haven't scored, in fact, in four games, but they did well to hold Havant away on Bank Holiday Monday. The Beavers sprang their season to life, finally, with two victories last weekend as well. It's the Battle of the Boroughs at Priory Lane. Little ball into the box. Low cross on the turn. Low shot, I should say, on the turn. Hadler picks it up. Taken short. Now it comes in. Oh, but it's long. Oh, and Lua is away. Needs support. Cox is racing to get there. Lua takes it right to the byline. It runs out of room and it's only a goal kick. Wills pops it forward. Romain is up off his chest. Lua is in the box. Oh, and a good saving tackle. Just Lua just took too long and surprisingly, that's given us a foul. Wills to Gale, uh, advances over the halfway. Ball into Cox, flicks it forward. Lua is onside, plays the ball in past the keeper. Easily inside the back post. Hampton look at each other, look at the linesman. They can look anywhere they like, but that goal stands. Toby, good turn. Goes at the heart of the defence. There's the cross, massive one. Great header. Chris Campbell coming in from nowhere. Ryan Hill, lovely diagonal ball into the box. Oh, there was an absolute crunch of the ankles there. I think both players felt that. Lua wide to Elliot Romain. Checks infield. Thinks about the shot and strikes it. Over it goes. Lua is in behind. Not yet a sight of goal. Squares it for Toby. Toby Jinx goes for the byline. Gets a cross in to the keeper. Cox with their first corner of the afternoon. Hangs in the air. Headed back across. Oh, one important clearance now. Sergio couldn't keep it down. Elliot. There was a knock off the ball, but uh, they're back on their feet now. Out to Ferry, he needs to go backwards. Chris Campbell needs to send this guy in. Keeper drops it, still available. Elliot turns. Oh, what a lovely finish. Well, had to put that one down as a, an error by Laurie Walker, but didn't the Borough take advantage? Smart, smart work by Elliot Romain. And he doubles the lead on 35 minutes. Good little knockoff. Ryan Hill with a good run too. Picked up by Dodomo. Slightly deflected shot. Down goes Hadler. He's remain again. He's on fire. Doesn't, doesn't pass that one too cleverly though. And he's given Torres a chase. And softest free kick of the afternoon so far. <laughs> Excellent work by Wills. And yet another foul is given. Why isn't that a yellow? Asks Dean Cox. There's the free kick into Lua. Controls it, turns the shot. Oh, squeezes past the back post. Shout, but Mr. Atkinson says no to that one. Flick on. Lewis chasing it. Now it's Cox. Cracking shot, cracking save. Still in play. Really strong hand from the keeper. Flicked across. Oh, just wide. Woo! End to end, if you like. Now again, over the top, and uh, Lua's just held only slightly this time. No angle at all, slips slightly. Lays it for Romain, who finishes clinically, and this is becoming a destruction. Hampton and Richmond have the first five minutes of the half, and that's about it. The remaining 40-plus have been all Eastbourne Borough, and they've three goals to prove it. It's 3-0 Eastbourne Borough.
Stephen Cross. Oh, and just inches away from being the fourth goal. Cox puts it in. A white head away. Followed up by superbly struck by Kane Wills. Very. Little flip. Penalty given. It looked pretty clumsy from here. Romain with this penalty kick for 4-0 and his own hat trick. And scores easily. That should put the result beyond that, but we've still got 38 minutes to play. Let's see what happens. No, even then, it's not Hampton's day. There was a pretty clear push. The whistle had gone before the ball hit the net. Speaking out of turn. Oh, it's given away. Oh, and return. Now a through ball for Lua. Down that left hand side. Across it goes. Oh, excellent uh, ball in. Excellent interception. Decent chance, oh, taken away from the keeper and well blocked in the end by the defence. Oh, good little touch and turn by Hill into the area, slots it in and Hampton and Richmond have at very least a consolation. Nice individual goal, well taken. Come on. Oh, I think that's a little harsh. Well, Campbell there fainted to pass back to the keeper and then changed his mind. To Torres. Walker again. Flicks one through to Lua. Beautiful ball. Finished. Oh, but finished. <laughs> well, he's beaten the keeper and a dramatic. Goal line clearance knocks it away for the corner. There's the corner. Not taken by Hadler. No foul on him, but it's cleared by his teammates. Oh, danger. Rising shot, rose too much. No right to win that ball. That's a great ball forward. And now Lewis streaks away. He's got Walker available. Oh, just stumbles over it. Cox for Torres. Oh, foul not given. On they go. Second minute of added time. Can Hampton add to their score? Pushed away by Hadler, corner. Good little back heel, in they come. Good block by Hadler. Oh, not a very good clearance. It's come to Walker. Shots on a turn. Touch wide. Referee isn't going to allow any more time to take it. That's your lot for this afternoon. Well, we turned up this afternoon anticipating a Borough victory, but only one Borough turned up. Eastbourne Borough commanding virtually throughout the game. Elliot Romain's hat-trick supplemented by that early goal by Greg Lua that broke the deadlock. And uh, Hampton and Richmond with very little to offer in return. They just got that consolation goal from Ryan Hill. But uh, without any doubt at all, Eastbourne Borough earned the points. And we've seen something near this afternoon to what the sports can do under Lee Bradbury. It's finished here, Eastbourne Borough 4, Hampton and Richmond Borough 1. Well, I'm with Lee Bradbury after that 4-1 victory and you must be a happy man tonight, Lee. Yeah, I thought we started the game very well, come out the traps quickly and uh, tweaked a bit of formation um, today. Um, I thought we probably kept them sort of uh, thinking a little bit and uh, 
we, we did start the game well and as I said the wind I didn't realise until I become manager here is a, is a big factor <laughs> you know it's, um, it's a game of two halves a lot of the time yes. um, with, a, with the wind coming straight down the pitch and, and we managed to get our noses in front and the lads grew with confidence after that um, an early goal always helps mm. and, and, the, the, and strikers always need confidence you're a striker yourself yeah. so. exactly yeah no, it's great that they've, um, you know, Elliot's got off the mark and um, he got himself a goal, Greg, as well. So um, always nice to get a hat trick, you know. And uh, you might even see Elliot smile today. <laughs> <laughs> he worked so hard, you know. I brought him off because obviously we've got another big game on Tuesday, and we are very thin on the ground at the moment as far as squad. Um, you know, Manny's going to come off. Kieran Kinder John won't be available on, on Tuesday either, um, nor will Manny. <laughs> you know, we're struggling, and Christian's had to go in and play uh, left side centre half. And, uh, yeah, we are light, but at this moment in time, that's, it is what it is. It's 4-1. Are you cross about the one? Yes, I think we all were. Um, Coxie straight away put his hand up, you know, tried to play the ball backwards rather than, than forwards. And I think he, he caught, um, caught us by surprise. But um, yeah, it's disappointing when you're so dominant in a game to, to concede. You know, I feel for the, for the team, but all, mm. obviously, firstly, uh, the goalkeeper and, and the back four, because they did deserve a clean sheet today. But, you know, I remember writing something in my newspaper preview about will the real Eastbourne Borough show up or something like that. And that was the real Eastbourne Borough, wasn't it? Yeah, certainly. I thought we, um, we grabbed the, gra uh, the game by the scruff of the neck today and, uh, you know, realised what an important game was it. And it was. And we were talking about it's easy to be stimulated against your haven'ts and, you know, when you, you, you feel you've got to up your game. Yes. We have to up our game every game. You know, you've got to get that out yourself and one another every week every training session and you know it's about standards and you know we're trying to implement them in the team. So it's interesting that because two excellent performances haven't and today and yet actually two quite different performances. Yeah very much so obviously away against a team uh, much fancy to win the league. Um, it was a battling performance and uh, a good defensive display uh, and a brave one and today was um, you know a lot the other end of the pitch played some good football today created some good opportunities could have been more. Um, so yeah very pleased but it's uh, on to the next one, as they say. And a great mood in the camp. Yeah, brilliant. The lads are buzzing in the dressing room. So um, it's always nice to win, especially at home. You know, I think we were well worth the three points today. And uh, we'll patch ourselves up and, and roll on for Tuesday at Welling. Thanks very much, Lee. Cheers, thank you. Good